Now, forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. All right, lots to go over here. Just a little time to do it. And you can see the snowflakes whipping around here from our Penobscot camera overlooking the beautiful city of Detroit. We've got low middle 30s and the winds are starting to crank up a little bit here out of the west southwest 5 to 15 gusting over 20 steering some of these lake effect snow bands and creating wind chills still in the low middle 20s. Port Huron, not too bad. Wind is a little lighter right now, but expect those cooler conditions throughout your afternoon. It's layer up kind of stuff and it is cold getting colder. You can see some of these snow bands we're seeing here in Macomb County, Chesterfield Township, heading into New Baltimore. A little heavier snow here. Widen out the view and you can see a batch of heavy snow up in Genesee County here as well, drifting north and east. Wider view, there we go. This is the trouble over here. We've got the winter storm warnings from, well, Battle Creek, Kalamazoo over to Grand Rapids for a three day total of snow that could exceed a one foot. Yes, primarily areas a little closer to Lake Michigan and you can see up near Traverse City some of these magenta pink ish uh, shades indicating where we could see upwards of a foot or more of snow. By the time these lake effect snow bands reach us, I mean, there are parts of maybe Livingston and Genesee counties that could get a couple two, three inches over the next couple of days, but you know, most of us get a dusting. The snow squalls, though, are something to watch. You know, traveling in that slickens everything, reduces visibility, makes things nasty, and we'll get an occasional one coming and going here in Metro Detroit, possible today and tomorrow really only middle 30s could even see some of those snow bands on the heavier side later tonight. Colder air. We're looking at more wind chills in the teens, but low to middle 20s for temps overnight and then 30 ish for our Friday temperature with more scattered lake effect snow showers. These are traveling now more of a southwest to northeast direction due to that steering wind and you can see that batch over Flint heading into the thumb, but really the areas closer to Lake Michigan areas to avoid or sort of travel at your own risk. There's the cold front pushing through Wisconsin, so headed our way with uh, next level cold air for the weekend. And it will be scattered snow bands, as we can see here, for the next couple of days. And temperatures really tumbling tomorrow all the way through the weekend. And again, those heaviest snow batches will continue on and off western Michigan, Rhonda, Friday and Saturday.